accurate, to the point. This is Montana This Morning. Welcome back. Nearly one third of all Americans suffer from sleep interruptions. That's according to the CDC. Even though we gained an hour of sleep when the clocks fell back, our body's internal clock needs time to adjust. Joining us this morning is Dr. Carol Ash, Director of Sleep Medicine. Doctor, thank you for joining us this morning. You have some tips for natural ways to fall back asleep. Yes, Devonta. I mean, like everyone else, I was glad to have that extra hour, but that time change actually does disrupt our normal rhythms. And what I'll tell patients to do is, number one, go antisocial. Those gadgets that we use to stay connected to social media... Blue light that actually interrupts release of melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone that's critical sleep onset. I'll tell patients also go red before bed. Tart cherries are naturally high in melatonin and research has shown that tart cherry juice could actually improve the duration and quality of your sleep. So I'll tell patients take some cherry juice before you go to bed at night and try it for a week. It could actually really improve your, your sleep and I'll encourage them to go to choosecherries.com, a place where they can find a lot of information about how cherries can help your sleep. Another tip is keep the same wake up time every single day. That includes weekdays as well as weekends. That helps to set the clock in your brain so that you'll fall asleep more easily at night and you'll find getting up in the morning is not such a struggle. So simply just doing some natural things, habits that are not just good when we've changed the clock, but something that you should really try to incorporate into your lifestyle yearly. It's, it's really important to get that good quality sleep. It's linked to cardiovascular disease, obesity, diabetes, impaired immunity, and fragile emotions. So getting your sleep and doing it naturally is a good start. Now, doctor, very good tips. You also mentioned becoming antisocial. What do you mean by that exactly? <laughs> well, you, you know, Unfortunately, you need an hour to transition into sleep at night. Most of us have so many demands and expectations that we hit the pillow and we're, we're drifting right off to sleep. But the reality is your, your brain needs an hour to have a, a shift in the chemical nature of the brain so that sleep is easier. So when you're attached to those gadgets and, and you know, interacting with your, your friends with, with social media or watching TV or on your laptop, that light, not only the activity is alerting, but that light can disrupt the natural rhythms. And melatonin is a hormone that's almost like a shade coming down in front of your eyes. It blocks the alerting signal. So melatonin is very important for sleep onset. And so the, the tips that I'm mentioning help to really set those rhythms and help to reinforce that, that melatonin, that, that natural hormone or, or rhythm that helps you to fall asleep at night. So again, go antisocial, you know, the tart cherries and drinking that tart cherry juice at night, a great natural solution. And just getting up the same time every day can go a long way to, to better sleep and better health. Dr. Carol Ash joining us this morning. Doctor, thank you again. We'll be right back.